Today we're at George Washington's Ferry Farm and Zach Cunningham is going to be talking to us about colonial grossology. Grossology is the study of what we might think today is gross about living life in the past. Things like going to the bathroom, throwing away trash, or caring for your teeth. The way people did these things in the past sometimes today make us say, oh, that's so gross. Ew. We're on the second floor of the Washington House. One of the questions that we'll ask our youngest visitors on a tour is, where is the bathroom in this house? When we come to this bedroom, we'll point out that in a way, it is also a bathroom. Most beds in the house probably had a chamber pot with them. You'll notice one under the red bed there. Those chamber pots would have served as the bathrooms for the Washingtons, for their guests, and even for the enslaved community. Our archaeologists have looked for a privy or outhouse here at Ferry Farm. They would have been very excited to find a privy because of the information that they yield. It was likely that there was no privy here at Ferry Farm. In rural Virginia in the 18th century, people would have simply been satisfied to use the chamber pot. Where and how were these chamber pots emptied? Well, they came right to the back porch of the house and tossed. Archaeologists refer to this area around the back porch where human waste was emptied as the midden or trash pile. It was the spot where the Washingtons and their enslaved workers disposed of anything and everything. Human waste? Yes. Food scraps after a meal? Yes. Broken dishes, whether glass or ceramic? Yes. On this map, you can see the midden in the concentration of artifacts found in the area behind where the original Washington house stood. Trash piles are important archaeological features because they can tell you so much about the people in the past you are studying. One of the things that we find in the trash pile or in the Washington house cellar or underneath where I'm standing now in the parlor or really anywhere where our archaeologists excavate at Ferry Farm are these wig curlers. While they were supposed to be a fashionable sign of refinement to those around you, wigs in the 18th century were frankly kind of gross. They were made out of human hair or sometimes horse hair but to get the curl in the wig, they would be lathered all over with animal fat and the wig curlers added. That would be allowed to harden. Then a powder would be added, the most common being chalk. And you would place that on your head. It's very heavy, very hot, and you would walk around for the rest of the day. In the space under what would have been the parlor in the original house, our archaeologists have actually found several wig curlers. This indicates to us that the parlor would have actually been used at times as something of a powder closet. Gentlemen that had been invited to a dinner or a party here at the Washington house would have come into the parlor, into a corner, and had their wigs freshened. Additional powder added, maybe a few curls repaired, and then they would have gone into the party or the dinner. While we might think that some of the ways that our ancestors in the past lived were gross, that doesn't mean that they were ignorant or primitive or just silly. 200 years into our future, our descendants will look at everyday things that we do and they perhaps will react in a very familiar way. They will say about us, that's so gross.